Hey, it's the Post Punk Kitchen. This is our excellent show. Hey! We've got the Cuban Cowboys, because we couldn't get menudo. And today we're going to be making tamales. With seitan and chipotle peppers. Guacamole, salsa verde. Papaya salsa. And horchata. Mm. And because no fiesta is complete without a piñata, we have a piñata that looks a little bit like George Bush. Seitan, tofu. White. I'm sorry, Mexico. Anyway, it's time to make tamales. Yeah. Woo! And when you make tamales, you shouldn't make them with maracas in your hands. You should probably Usually. put the maracas down okay. in a safe place. Yeah. For use later. Um, first part of tamales is the wrapper, the corn husk. Um, um, I got this on Church Avenue, and from all like the you know like all the big multi-ethnic. Um, Multi-ethnic. Do you know that Church Avenue is the most diverse street in the entire world? You can get everything sure. there. You can get mangoes, you can get corn husks from But I'm grocers, speaking statistically. It's the most culturally diverse street in the world. I'm not, it wasn't like something I pulled out of my ass. Okay, okay, true. I, I believe you. So for, to prepare your corn husk, you need to soak them in warm tap water for 20 minutes and they should get soft, pliable. Uh, you'll be able to peel them apart and and then they'll be ready to fill with masa. Okay, and now it's uh, time for tamale filling. Yeah. I hate saying it's time for things. Right. Should, it, it just is. It just is ta tamale filling. Now is filling. the moment when the tamale filling happens. And it's happening before us mm -hmm. with this lovely spread of fresh corn, zucchini, seitan, onions, onion, pinto beans, tomates. And what's this? These are chipotles. With the beautiful woman on it. The lovely Morena um, brings <laughs> us chipotles direct from Mexico, and I love these guys. They're uh, they've been they're jalapenos that have been smoked and they're prepared in a tomatoey spicy sauce. And they is it called adobe sauce? Yeah, it's a it's an adobe sauce, and you could put a little bit in the filling if you like. It's like smoky and yummy, and, and, and smoky did I say it was good. smoky? Okay. Did you you did say smoky? Smoky. If I heard you correctly. Smoky, the bear. And we have a little yes. poblano pepper. I love the poblanos. Which is a mild, almost sweet pepper. Yeah. Not too spicy. Yeah, a little don't kick Don't worry. To it. No worries. A little kick. And don't be afraid of them. And you can get them in the same place where you can get your, you know, your corn husks. If you're feeling really adventurous, um, you can use fresh husks like this exciting specimen. Mm -hmm. And everybody loves to husk. Wait, I, I don't really like husking. What if I don't feel like doing it? Uh, for some crazy reason that you won't, wouldn't want to husk corn, um, you can get a band to do it. Like, we have a band to do it. The amazing Cuban Cowboys.
Lost on your empty post I loved you all I gave you birth I'm at my best when you do your worst But if and when the truth comes out Well, I don't want to talk about it Oh, my cheating, I'm not messing around I guess I can't live without it Oh, the truth is that I lie Oh, the truth is that I lie Issa, of you. Why? My, my I mean, for many, Is many, many reasons why, but at this moment, Is it my because fabulous life. That too, but it's really about your stove, because your stove lights. Right. And mine lights, kind of, but it doesn't really oh, tell I, you when I or feel how. totally privileged. It's just sometimes I come home and I just start lighting the oven just because I can. Meanwhile, I light it and it'll turn on like, mm -hmm. you know, five hours later, and by that point, we're all dead or right. something and you call me and you're like what are you doing and i'm like light in the oven and i'm like god damn Lisa. just to rub it in so what's going on now we're gonna fry <gasps> we're gonna fry our filling up so i put saute more saute. okay saute. let's try and like teach the people the right, right word maybe we should okay. say the spanish words for everything cebolla no mames hey mommies tomatillo Cebolla, fritos, nachos, cabrones, ajo, I'm not calling you an asshole, poblano, poblanos, si, gracias, you're gonna learn so much by the end of the show, I know curses mostly because I worked in a restaurant, so it was always the guys from Ecuador cursing at me, I had to learn fast, also, and I grew up listening to Menudo, of course I have to squeeze the Menudo into the show, but my favorite menudo ever was Javier, the blonde one. To this day, I can do Javier's signature. Shall I? I can do Ricky's signature also. I could do Charlie's, Miguel probably. This is what you gotta do when you're sauteing, by the way. This was Ricky, something like this. Oh my god, guys, this, I've never seen this before. Charlie's had the C going out. This is hard, because this is going back 20 some odd years. Underlying. I didn't do Javier's right, but I remember that. Okay, I remember. <gasps> but <Hot>. Javier, <laughs> oh my he was my favorite. You can keep menudoing, but I want to okay. like I want to add the other vegetables because these okay. these guys are screaming like zucchini. Zucchini. Yes. How do you say that? Zucchini. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> zucchini. There is. A, they do call it something. Um, they don't. British people call eggplant something weird. Aubergines. I don't know why. I'm yeah. Aubergines? It's always like... It's a color. Don't freaking confuse me. Yeah. Uh, oh, they call them courgettes. British people oh, call these things, yes, which totally. is even weirder and like yeah. more not That's American. why we're never going to do a British show. Well, what do the British people eat? They like, eat Indian food because they right, don't like right, this right. British food is really bad. <laughs> right. Sorry, Britain. Totally. Um, and the seitan? Yes. The seitan's already been sautéed seitan. a little bit. I think we should uh, add the corn and. Subatia mi moto. I don't know that one That's either. Get on my motorcycle. Okay. So when did corn? you? When did Menudo lose you? It was around <laughs> when Little Ricky joined, and he was okay. like, I was like, ten, and he was like, nine, and I was like, I'm too old for this guy. You want the chipotle? I think so. This is looking nice and fried. Mm -hmm. It's 
going to be ready for the salsa. Oh, the broth! It goes in there? This is a cup that Issa's putting in, according to her magical. Un pinche oregano? Si. No. <laughs> okay, and don't forget when you're using dried spices to do that little rub them between your fingers, get all the flavors out. So, um, I'm gonna let this cook for about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes, so it's a little less saucy. And the vegetables and the seitan absorb some of the broth and the tomato juices. And, and then we'll have our filling. And now, it is the time of to make the dough. <laughs> I have here in an ugly bag and in a brand new sack of is the super cheap corn meal um, flour called maseca. It is actually not straight up cornmeal. Don't use cornmeal when you make, that's what I'm trying to say, don't use cornmeal when you're making your tamales. Um, this is a specially prepared corn dough mix that is used all over Mexico and Latin America. It is prepared specially with a limestone treated water. Um, I think it's like an old, based on a really old process that the uh, pre-Columbian peoples were doing for thousands and thousands of years, and it makes the corn more digestible and easy to grind, and it's yummy. Um, and it works excuse out me, really excuse well. Excuse me. Oh, so I'm like, on your way. <laughs> Diva the way. coming through. I'm gonna open this up. I'm gonna get this guy out of here. Should, shall I get you a bowl? Yes, please. I'm so, gonna put six cups of the maseca mm -hmm. in here. I think this is six actually. Okay, but whatever you say. We're gonna find out the hard way. You're All the right. Venezuelan. They know so much about Mexican food. Mm -hmm. um, I wonder why. Why? Mm -hmm. um, vegetable broth. Oh yeah. I'm going to heat up a little bit of vegetable broth. Use equal parts vegetable broth and Maseca. I'm just going to heat it up a little bit. Like not, warm it? Yeah, just warm it. I think... What are you doing? Uh, I'm adding a little baking powder. Um, it helps to make the tamales. When they steam, they fluff up. Okay. And it's just a little bit of Makes leavening. sense. Okay. Broth time. Tiempo para el broth. And we're going to use... Oh! You and your power tools. We're gonna use an Ooh, electric, let me add it, let me add electric it. mixer. <clears throat> For all of you who have that electric mixer you're dying to use. Tamale dough needs a little bit of fat in it. Um, traditionally they use lard, but because we're not traditional, um, we're gonna use corn oil to enhance the We're subverting the, the dominant paradigm. But she I'm said, sorry, I read too many weird anarchist pamphlets. Go for it, I add a little oil. Do you want to? Do you want to do some of this? Yeah, you betcha. All right. What's the consistency we're looking for? Fluffy, like clouds, and happy, and and fluffy, Pluto. fluffy bunnies. Yeah, fluffy, cute little bunnies. All right, you want to take over? Chief? Yeah. Move over. She's all yours. Out the fluff. Your dough should be fluffy, kind of a kind of a soft consistency, not too wet, so it doesn't really it doesn't really stick to you. Mm -hmm. Let it go. Now, should we make the tamales? Yay! The, the moment we've been waiting for. The moment of truth. Husk, my dear. Thank you, darling. All right. To tie tamales together, the easiest um, way to use to do it is to just use another corn husk. So you can take a corn husk and shred two long little strips. Enamorada del amor Dicen que soy De coquetear y del romance Que lo que soy What are you doing now? I am rap, I'm time. You're just doing stuff. I'm just the good doing people stuff. and I don't know. Maybe everybody else understands that I'm just stupid. Is that what you're saying? Is that what you're saying? Okay. Thank you.
All right, so there's our tamale. Enamorada del amor. Dicen que soy. Oh, man. Boy, that was a lot of work. So now all that's left to do is steam them, huh? Yep. Ready to go. Shall we? Yes. Okay. Steam away. And I'm going to steam them for about half an hour. You know when they're done, when the tamale will separate very easily from the from the wrapper. And they'll puff up a little bit. And they'll be delicious. Okay, now we're going to make our salsa verde. And salsa, as we know, is sauce. Verde salsa. is green. It's green sauce. And to make it green, we're going to use these tomatillos which are very cute little tomatoes that have their own little wrapper. And you just, it's a I dry, papery wrapper. I can't handle how cute this is. I know, it's, it's adorable. Kind of... If you can manage, don't squeeze it to death from being so cute. So you just um, unwrap them. The, the wrapper comes off easily. If it doesn't come off easily, it might not be ripe yet. It, or it might not be a tomatillo. Or, yeah, heaven forbid. Who knows what it's gonna be. Yeah. So it's going to be tomatillos, jalapenos, jalapenos, cilantro, garlic, some vegetable broth. Might throw some tequila in there if we're feeling crazy. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, so we've husked our tomatillos and washed them. Make sure you wash them, they're really sticky. And I'm just going to heat up a little bit of olive oil, medium heat, about a tablespoon of olive oil. I'm gonna saute the garlic. Everything can be chopped roughly because we're gonna blend it. Okay, so you wanna let the tomatillos cook for about five minutes till they start releasing moisture. Then we're gonna add vegetable broth, a little salt, and let it cook for about 45 minutes. And then we're gonna add the cilantro and lime and we're gonna blend it up. Awesome. Now should we make some guacamole? Aye. So guacamole <laughs> is just avocados. I put garlic, not onion. And let me just show you a little trick ski for getting your uh, seed out. You just take your chef's knife. You're supposed to have something to protect your hand, but I'm too punk for that. And you go like that. You twist it. And the seed wow. Comes out. And then you're supposed to have something here to protect your hand, but <laughs> I don't have that. To keep your guacamole fresh and green and yummy, uh, keep a pit in there and you're done. For our next salsa. I'm going to make papaya. You can use cantaloupe, you can use mangoes, mango, and just chop them up. Mango is always big, yeah. Cilantro, lime juice, yeah. onions, call you, it a day. You know the drill. And this will take a while, <laughs> which we're gonna fast forward into an amazing montage. <laughs> All right, I'm crying. It's full on Tammy Faye time. Yeah, I've got like one eye going here. Oh. Hi, mommy. So we're back and considerably less attractive. I think we've all learned our lesson. Never, ever, ever cut. Never. An, an onion with a serrated knife. In an unventilated kitchen. It was deadly. Maybe funny to you. Yeah. But, uh, we were hurting inside and out. We'll be sending you our hospital bills. <sighs> so we're just finishing up wow. the, the um, papaya salsa. Yeah. I'm adding some lime juice. Because we're troopers. That's you want me to throw that. some tomatoes in there? Please do. That was quite a throw. <laughs> You want me to chop up the cilantro? If you feel like it. While you sunset on the, uh, on oh. the, on the lime. See, That's corporate training. lingo, sunset. Means really? I don't know that. What yeah, like that you sunset a product, you end it. Is it like touch base? It's definitely a corporate thing, but it, it also, other okay. people use it. Aunts and uncles use it. But touch I've noticed base. that hip hop lingo has started making its way into the corporate world. Mm. People are all like, oh, I uh, didn't get those estimates correct. My bad. It's really weird. Oh yeah, that was a whole Enron thing. <clears throat> yeah. They're like my bad. those those bitches ain't never gonna find out yeah. about yeah yeah. Should I put some cilantro? I, I think you shall, or should, or shall and should. How's that? Oh, look 
at this. Pretty as a... You're gonna mix it with your hands? Yeah! Yeah, let's just fuck it. Just mix it with your hands. All right. That looks I'm, good. I'm done with you, papaya salsa. Yeah. Booyah! See ya! Okay, so now our, our salsa verde's been out cooking for um, 45 Very minutes. hot salsa. So we're ready to blend it and add the rest of the ingredients. If you're, sometimes tomatillos can be a little bitter. These seem to be, if that's the case for you, you can add a little bit of sugar to counteract the bitterness. I don't know how much. Try like less than a teaspoon. A scant teaspoon. And a cup of cilantro. One line. Try, let's just say half a line. So when you're blending stuff that's hot, you can loosen the top so that it, otherwise the steam, actually this won't loosen, but make sure you don't keep it closed too long because the steam will kill you. I'd say we're done with this. Excelente. And what would our excellent show be without something to drink? Um, it would be crap. Our it would Mexican be nothing. Show. We would be failures. We're going to make some Sorry. <clears throat> horchata. Horchata. Horchata is a um, rice drink. And you also use some almonds and some cinnamon and some sugar. And then recipes vary a little bit. It's a cold rice drink. Very refreshing. Over lots of ice. We should say. You're thinking drinking rice, ew, but no. But no, that's not that's the situation. Delicious. That's not the situation. So what this is, it's just rice milk, two cups with two cups of water, and splashing all over the goddamn place. This is the way we do things here. And two cinnamon sticks. And we're just gonna boil, bring this to a low boil, and then add the rest of the ingredients. So cover it just to let it get to a boil. You want to get all the cinnamon out, out of its stick. So it's been about five minutes. You want the, or the milk to be not boiling, but, but warm. And then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients. We have one third cup <laughs> organic sugar, almonds, ground up almonds. So they're blanched and ground up in a blender until they become a powder. You add that rice flour, and then I zest the lime. So you can shut the heat off, and you have to let this sit forever and ever and ever. Actually, let it sit um, warm for about two hours, then refrigerate it. Then, you're gonna take it out of the refrigerator. And wonder of wonders, you're going to have something that looks strikingly like this. So, at which point you're going to need to add two more cups of rice milk, which we've already done, and then strain it. And this is the fun part. So we just want some cheesecloth to go into a hole. The essence of the cheesecloth, but it's vegan. Wait, what's going on here? Let go of it! I'm just trying to Jesus help. Christ. As usual, always getting, I'm getting religious. Baby, must baby. help. Sure. It's just like you. Did you see how cool I was a second ago? Do you remember that? I said it was David Copperfield. Oh, cool. now look at me. A shattered mess of a woman. All right, anyway. So you line. <laughs> you can also use a fine mesh strainer. Mesh, but we're not going to. Mesh strainer, but we don't have one. And you just pour it in. Do you and splash plop, 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 plop. a lot. Get the cinnamon sticks out your clean hands. And again, get out cinnamon. You should be left with a beautiful, cool, refreshing drink. One way to know that your tamales are done is that they'll separate from the husk. As Kisa will demonstrate, <laughs> my helper, where in there is a tamale? I know it. Here we yep. Are. Perfect. Perfect little corn lines smoking. There you go. That that's amazing. how you eat. I cannot wait to eat it. Yeah. That's 
show was completely excellent. Excellent day. Oh, I'm sorry. Did aye, that hurt? Aye, aye. We had tragedy. We had comedy. Tears flowing. Laughter. But we came back all the better and stronger. Mm -hmm. And we made some awesomeness today. We have the chipotle vegetable seitan tamales. Woo! And horchata. Horchata. Salsa verde. Salsa verde. Uh, salsa de papaya. And guacamole. guacamole. And I don't know about you, but uh, all this tequila that we've been <laughs> drinking all day makes me want to smash a piñata with our friends, the Cuban Cowboys. Oh yeah, the Cuban Cowboys.